Let's do number 12. There are six members on a board of directors. If they must elect a chairperson, secretary, and a treasurer, how many different slates of candidates are possible? So this is a counting question. So we have six people total. So N is the bigger number, so N is six. And looks like we want to select a chairperson, a secretary, and a treasurer. So we have different positions. So the order matters, so this is a permutations problem. We have three different positions, so R is equal to three. So in StackCrunch, the command, command would be perm. And it's always the bigger number first, so six comma three, right? The order matters because the positions are different. Let's go ahead and do it in StackCrunch, and then I'll show you uh, another way to do it. So you go to data, compute, and expression. Then you left click on expression. Then just type in perm, so P-E-R-M, parentheses, the bigger number always first, and don't forget the comma. So perm, six, three. Boom, there it is, 120. Let me do that again. It's data, compute, expression, type in perm, P-E-R-M, and then six comma three, piece of cake, that's it, 120. So the answer is 120, so it's choice B. Another way to do it is that whenever it's not combinations, usually you can just draw a little picture like this. So we have three positions, chairperson, secretary, and treasurer. So one, two, three. Let's say this is the chairperson. If we have six people, there are six ways to pick a chairperson. You've already picked the chairperson. Now there are five ways left to pick the secretary. And now you only have four people left, so there's four ways left to pick a treasurer. The number of ways to pick all three positions is the product by the multiplication rule. So 30 times 4 is 120. That's it.